the compound that we've created takes methane in, in air and converts it into CO2. And it relies on something called a clay alumina silicate, which is actually one of the most abundant materials on the face of the earth. But the way that most people have interacted with it is actually as cat litter. The way that it works actually is we uh, play a few tricks with the alumina silicate. We add copper into the very small pore spaces within this alumina silicate material. And that copper grabs onto methane as it's flying by and activates with some of the surface oxygen in the min mineral as well as some of the oxygen in the air. And it helps add those oxygen functional groups to the methane so that it can convert that methane um, into methanol first and then downhill to, to CO2, which is a much less potent greenhouse gas. We've done the math and, and deploying this type of filter on every air handler, say in a home or an office building, actually doesn't make much sense. The way that we would want to use this catalyst is actually probably at some of the more enriched methane sources. So things like coal mines and dairy barns or meat barns. Um, if you could put this catalyst in a reactive unit that is kind of leveraging the air that's already moving, you would be able to bring an enormous greenhouse gas savings. A lot of people hear that this catalyst is going to generate CO2 and they think, wait a minute, CO2 is a terrible greenhouse gas. And the, this is where it's really important to look at the numbers. If we were able to deploy this catalyst at all of the coal mines on the face of the earth, it would be the equivalent of removing all of the combustion-based automobiles. So there's an immediate warming benefit that's felt by the planet.